What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to automatically switch between Wi-Fi networks when a better signal is available. If you have a big house or work at a large office, you're surely familiar with Wi-Fi repeaters. They essentially capture the signal from a main router, then rebroadcast it to increase the Wi-Fi range. But you have to connect to these repeaters separately, and Android isn't very good about knowing when to switch to the nearest one with the best signal strength. So that's where the app Wi-Fi comes in. Basically, it allows you to add a group of Wi-Fi networks that you commonly use in one location. Then it monitors the signal strength of these access points and makes sure that you're always connected to the best one. The best part is, it does all of this automatically. So aside from some initial setup, you don't even have to fuss with the app to get this functionality. So let's open it up and see how to go about creating a group of Wi-Fi access points. It's got a really smooth UI with touches of Android's new material design. Start by tapping this plus button at the bottom of the screen to create a new Wi-Fi group. From here, the app will scan for any nearby access points. Take any of them that are available, then you may have to move around the house or office to get a signal from one of the further ones. But when you've got all your access points selected, you can name this group with the option up top to make it easier to keep track of. Then you can set the sensitivity, which translates to how much a signal has to drop before it'll look for a better connection. You can then change the color of this group, which is helpful if you end up adding multiple groups. But when you're ready, just tap the check button at the top of the screen, and Wi-Fi will tell you that the group was created successfully. You can now exit the app, and it'll work in the background to ensure that you're always connected to the network with the best signal. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.